Hi, I'm AJ from Census. I'm super excited to be talking about our latest feature called GPT Columns. In this video, we are gonna cover two things. First, define what GPT Columns are, and second, see how to set one up. So GPT Columns are AI-based columns that you can create on top of your existing data sets. They use the power of large language models, and these LLMs are great for re removing mundane repeatable tasks or automating mundane repeatable tasks for humans. So when you're doing your cleaning up of data, like removing trailing spaces, uh, standardizing on, on a data value, uh, or you're doing complex tasks like lead scoring, uh, generating uh, creative messages for every user based on their profile, GPT columns can help you with all of that stuff. So let's see how to set one up. I'm in my census workspace now. Uh, I'm on my home screen. It's a pretty basic workspace with a few data sets into it. Uh, we're gonna use company as a data set. And the way you create GPT columns is you go into uh, this little drop down over here that says add computed columns. And then you click on it and select GPT. Now, we support open AI models uh, to create your GPT columns or AI based columns. You'll need your API key to set set up the connection here. Uh, the way you do it is you go into your settings on OpenAI and create a new secret key. But for now, uh, I have copied my key already, so I'm gonna just uh, copy paste it here. And let's go ahead and, and make that connection. Cool, uh, now we are into our prompt area. And this prompt area, you define the column name, you provide it a prompt, uh, configure the data type, and then you're done. So we're gonna create a column and we're gonna call it a B2B or B2C. Uh, in fact, let's call it B2C or B2B. Uh, and you're gonna select a data type. Now, this, this is really cool because AI or LLMs have a tendency to generate large outputs, uh, outcomes, descriptions, all of the, uh, the explanations but census already validates all these data types for you. So, so in this case, I'm just gonna select enum as a type uh, and select three different potential values here. Okay, and that's it. Now we need a prompt. I'm gonna remove this default prompt and I'm gonna go into our documentation. We have some great sample GPT prompts here. Obviously you can use your own prompt as well. Um, so I'm gonna copy the one that's for finding out a B2B or a B2C company. I'm gonna come back into our prompt area and, and generate this value. And that's it. Now your GPT column will be created behind the scenes. Census is, uh, is running a sync and it's, uh, it's calling the open AI for every single uh, column value. Uh, and then uh, it's, it's creating this new value for in the new column. And here you have it, you have a B2B or a B2C column that's a, that com compares all the companies against their names and, and mark them as B2B or B2C. Uh, so this was a super simplistic example. Obviously we would love to see some, some crazy and amazing and cool stuff you do with GPT columns. Uh, feel free to, to follow our documentation on how to set it up. Uh, you can just go to uh, data sets, core concepts and, and GPT columns and there are a bunch of uh, example use cases, your uh, directions on how to set one up, as well as some sample GPT prompts. Thank you so much for listening.